Hello, hello, hello. I am Big Meech, and this here is a Big Meech moment. Mm. Listen, sweeties, I'm, I've been wanting to get this to bother me for a few days now, but uh, I just want to make sure that people understand a couple of things, or at least I'm going to put something into perspective. Okay, the verdict has been read. And Miss um, Kim Potts or Potter or whatever her damn name is has been found guilty on all charges, as she damn well should have. The problem that I'm having is, um, there are some who don't believe that justice has been served, and then those, for those of us who feel that justice has been served, this I will truly say that justice really has been served and it wasn't served cold it was served at the right temperature this is the second time that we have had justice for our people done in a way that we appreciate the law to do there were no hiccups there were no um 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 uh, side bargaining, there were no loopholes in the law, there were no technicalities and et cetera, et cetera, that got people off. You know what I mean? This here was straight up facts and evidence being presented and the jury went. And at first they thought that it was something else because the jury came back with a question. At first, uh, it was assumed that the jury could not come up with a unanimous decision because they, the question to the judge was what would happen if they could not agree. So we were facing a possible mistrial or whatever. However, for whatever reasons, they got it right. They deliberated and they deliver. I think they said they deliberated for 27 hours over the span of four days or whatever. And they were able to dissect that the way that they ought to and they were able to serve justice at the right temperature. There would have been no way for that woman to have gotten off. And then she knew she was going to jail because if y'all remember seeing the tapes, in the tape, she said, oh my God, I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail because I shot him. Okay, you, you saying taser, taser, taser. And listen, I understand I understand that mistakes can be made for those of y'all who feel as though, okay, she was in the heat of the moment and blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. If you knew you didn't have your taser and you fired that weapon the first time, why did you continue firing? If you knew you didn't have the damn taser. See, I would have been a little bit lenient had she shot him once and realized she didn't have the taser and put the gun back and then grab the damn taser. See, that would have been something. And what is that? Oh, shit. Okay. Mishap, perhaps. Okay. But see, that's debatable. You know what I'm saying? A 26-year veteran on the force. And you don't know the difference between your gun and the taser. That's what everybody keeps saying. But, you know, that, that seems to be the logic behind it. But I want to go a little deeper because my thought is this. You were also training another officer. You were training a rookie. So, see, we have a whole bunch of implications here. Okay. We also had where they found another video where she didn't shoot the gun or whatever, but she was covering up for her for her um fellow officers told them to cut their body cameras off and this that and other blah 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 oh, that's on tape really 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 see this here this when we talk about corruption in the police department and carrying on this is the kind of stuff that we need to look into this is the kind of stuff that when investigations are done we got to go back and look at a lot all these cases the question is who has the time to do it who has the time to go through and look at all of these damn cases that could have been fudged? We got the judge who um, was sitting up there and she wanted to blame that she was on uh, some kind of sleeping pills or whatever. And she's sitting around there calling folks niggas and stuff around her in the, the, the breakfast table or whatever she was. This is a, a judge. Okay. The problem with that is this, and many of y'all may say, well, she was at home, mind her own business, blah, 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 blah. And you're right. However, somebody decided to record her, and they posted it. And somewhere she knew it was posted because this was old as hell. Okay, this was old footage. So somewhere up in here, 
you got real comfortable and forgot about what it is that you're doing, how, how anything. You know what I'm saying? And then instead of being honest with yourself and saying, listen, this, these are my views and this, that, and the other, but yet not know how to separate your personal views from the law and your duties. Honey, listen, I know what it is just on my job alone. I know what my personal feelings are versus what they want me to do on the job. You understand what I'm saying? And there are certain things, honey, that I have to push my personal feelings aside and be like, okay, as long as it is not upsetting my integrity, and I'm doing something against my will that takes me out of my character, then we have a problem. You know what I'm saying? But otherwise than that, if it's you know, business versus personal, when they tell you to leave your bit your personal at home anyway and don't bring it to the job. See, this is what we have to look at. When we talk about law enforcement and and cases and judges and this, that, and the other, this is why this kind of stuff is important. If that woman had a god off, honey, they know damn well that. We would have been rioting something fierce. And yes, I'm going to use the word riot. I'm not going to say protest because there have been a lot of us who've been mad as hell. And we probably would have been rioting because it wouldn't have made no sense. That there was blatant. It was blatant. And she tried to do the damn, the crying thing again and this, that, and the other because the other boy got off. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Justice will serve at the right temperature this time. Now, within our lifetime, we've seen it, what, two times? The time where OJ, justice was served cold. OJ got off, but justice was served cold, okay? And folks couldn't handle that because they figured, well, he paid enough money for this. And, and what did that feel like? I've always wanted to ask folks, what did that feel like for you to where you feel as though money got somebody off? Huh? Especially a black man. Money got a black man off. Hmm. When that's what we've been saying all the damn time, technicalities and loopholes in the law. That's what got George Zimmerman off a fucking loophole because the definition of uh, uh, whatever the word was, the juror said, the queen, the black queen that they put in front of everybody to be the spokesperson for all the jurors. She got her little 15 minutes of fame to say no when a court, it wasn't, in, it wasn't in, in the proper context. So because of that and the way how we had to define the, the, the legal definition, no, he, he was not under duress and whatever it was. It was bullshit. So we found a technicality in the law. You understand? See, it, even I had to become more educated on the laws of Canada, but it's so fucking many of them to where it's like, where do you start? And they always want to throw, when, when they don't want you to be bothered, they always throw up, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Well, there's so fucking many of them, it's ridiculous. Okay, sound familiar for those of you who are my traditional Christians? Ain't that why we are under a new covenant? Because the Old Testament, they had so many laws that nobody could follow them all. So many laws that nobody could follow them, right? Hmm, at least that's what you taught us, right? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. But I just wanted to get that up off of me right now. Justice was served at the right temperature. And it feels good to know that the right thing was done. Stephanie Mills said, let's do the right thing, honey, because we all win in the end when we do the right thing. Don't be trying to sugarcoat it. Don't try to get yourself around in the care. No, honey, do the right thing. Do the right thing. I'm Big Meech, and this is a Big Meech moment. Thank you.